Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Average Shows 3D. I'm your host Fergie and today we're going to take a look at cleaning your nozzles using a cold pull. Now I just saw this video on 3D Printing Nerd which is uh, Joe Telling's website. And normally I don't do things I've seen. Uh, Joel did a great job of explaining to it. I'll leave a link to his um, page below. But one of the reasons I, I'm doing it now is because I had amazing results. I mean, I've had results that I was shocked at. Now, if you take a look, I've got two Ender 2s. Uh, this one, of course, I use more than that. Don't know why, just the way it works out. I had them for a little bit more than a year. And so I was cold pulling these in my CR-10. Now to cold pull, you need to warm your nozzle up to 260 degrees, hot as it will go. And then you're going to look for either Pechi, right? Oh, let me get that back up there. Pechi can go from 230 to about um, 260 in the 260 I'm looking for. Or I'm using nylon, which is recommended which goes 240 to 260. Now the reason we want to go so hot is that we want to uh, have something that gets hotter than the filament that we're pulling out so that it, at regular filament temperatures it will cool down and when we pull it back out it's going to pull out all the old filament. Okay, So I got it 260 now and what we do is you click on it, you go to prepare and you go down to cool down and then once you've done that you take this you stick it in and you slowly push on it and you can see the filament coming out of the bottom don't press too hard just enough so it's constantly coming out so then when it cools down about 170 it should fill the whole chamber in your cold end as well as around your nozzle okay so we are at 219, still going down. Now I've done this already two or three times, but I wanted to show you the process of what we were doing. We're down at um, 119, I'm sorry, 198, 194, I'm having a hard time pushing it. 187, okay, at 170 it stops. Okay, so now that's in there, right? We're going to pull this out. When it gets about 170 or 180, I'm going to be able to remove this and we'll have a plug on the bottom. So let me get rid of all this old stuff and we'll go to control and then temperature and nozzle. There you go. And I'm going to heat it up to just 210 again. There we go. Put up at 260, go back to control, main, info screen. Now I can watch it heat up. And then we'll pull this out. All right, right now it's solid in there because this is nylon at um, 230 degrees. It's pretty solid. Let's zoom in a little bit and we'll see what we get out. Now, once I pull this out, it's the results I want to show you that were amazing. Remember, I've been printing for this for about a year. I have replaced the nozzle a couple times, um, but I mean, I just print, right, like anybody else. I go in here, I print, if it's such a clog, I go ahead and try to clean it. Okay, we're at 178, 179, all right, it's coming out at 180, there we go. Okay, so that's good. So let's take a look at what we got here. Let me bring you on around. This will get a little jittery. No, I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to take it on around here. Show you the CR10 bed. Alright, so we're at the CR10. Now you see two sides, right? This was the Ender 2 that I don't use very much. This is the Ender 2 that I use a lot. Now you can see the one I don't, I don't use very much. It's not discolored at all. It is uh, pretty clean as a matter of fact. One or two runs with it. Cold pulling and it was pretty good. Let's take a look at these guys. 
Now I have these in order, first to last, okay? So we've been through four times. And take a look at that. Let me see if I can get you down a little bit here. So you're a little bit closer. There we go. All right. So this first one here, completely discolored, it's yellow and not white, with flecks of green and other things in it. This is all the old filament that was stuck in there from before. All right. Pretty, pretty gross if you if you look at it. Let's see if I can get down closer here. There we go. That'll be a good shot. There. Okay, we're at the bottom. Good. Here we go. So, this one. Disgusting. I mean, I mean, look at this. It is nasty all the way through. All that was in my hot end and um, in the nozzle. But you can see the reason it's barrel shaped is because this filled the void in the, the hot end where the um, your tube was supposed to go in, but it didn't go all the way in, apparently. All right, let's take a look at number two. Now, number two, still pretty gross. Take a look at that. All right, I still have chunks of things in there. Um, it's all brown and discolored. Number three, not much better. There we go. But I don't see any filament in there. It's just discolored. And this is number four. Much wider. Now, I could do this three or four more times and get it all the way cleared up. A dis discoloration may be from just using and heating up and cooling down the hot end so much that uh, it's become discolored in there. has a coating on the inside of it. As you can see, this is so much wider than that one. It's ridiculous. So, here's what I wanted to say. If you've been using your um, 3D printer for quite a while, didn't seem to have any problems, and suddenly you're getting under extrusion, under extrusion um, it may be because it's built up, you don't realize on the side there, it's built up a bunch of gunk that normally won't um, put a blockage in there, but it is blocking. Because look at the other end or two. This is the first one, a couple chunks. The second one looks really great. So go ahead and do a cold pull. Try a cold pull out, see what you get. Um, you never know what you're going to pull up. But this, I had no idea that this was waiting on my under two, just waiting to happen on a really good print. All right, so this is just a quick video today, just uh, showing you my results of a cold pull. Like I say, Joe Telling. Is where you want to go if you want a full explanation of everything that happens with a cold pull. But i um, pretty amazed here. Well, I appreciate you joining me today on Average Shows 3D. Uh, as always, you can leave comments below. And go ahead and subscribe. I think you'll enjoy the channel. You guys have a great day.